Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Don. I'm doing a reaction today. I've done, I don't know, maybe three or four reactions to Gene Watson's music. And, uh, but I haven't done this song and I don't know this song as far as I know it. It's called You Gave Me a Mountain. And I don't know where this song is going to go because I'm intrigued, but I'm intrigued by that idea. You gave me a mountain. That could either be something that crushed you, crushed you or that you climbed over and you succeeded. But you know there's going to be some hardship in here because mountains are always metaphorical or analogous to hardship. So uh, this was requested by Linda McDaniel. You're a Georgia girl. I don't know why I wrote that down in here, but you must have included that in one of your comments somewhere, and I picked up on it. So there you go, Georgia girl. Jesus, as I smash my headphones into my face. Okay, here we go, Gene. Oh, we're going to get to see him. Oh, he's at the Opry. Leo, oh, cool. Here we go. I'll try not to block it. Born in the heat of the desert. My mother died giving me life. That's harsh. Pride of the love of a father. Blamed for the loss of his wife. You know, Lord, I've been in a prison for something that I've never done. It's been one hill. After another And I Climb them all One by one There you go It's like I'm feeling it, living through it, because I was wondering, all right, you got a mountain, you keep talking about it, your mountains that you already overcame, mother dies giving birth to you, so you grew up without a mother, then your father got blamed for her death, I think that's what he had said, and he kept alluding to this mountain, and he's going through a mountain, one that I've been through, and I'm like, shoot, man. I don't know. You could just relive it through it. And you're like, nah, don't, you don't want a hardship. Even though it's a song that was written 20, 30, 40 years ago. You're like, no, not a hardship for you. Don't have gone through that. But he did. I guess we're going to find out how bad it was. So tired of working for nothing. Uh. Tired of being my wife. Took my one ray of sunshine. She took my pride and my joy. She took my reason for living. Is there a kid? Oh, she took my small baby yeah. boy.
I'm going to quote our buddy Eddie Stubbs. Are there any questions? <laughs> when you get through with the song, there are no questions. You have answered them all. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, that band. Uh, oh, goodness. Band. You get up here in front of them, you better sing. <laughs> But, uh, we'll let you do that other song a little later on. Okay, I don't make no difference. <laughs> <laughs> now I got the tough part over with. <laughs> That's Thank great, you. man. That's Thank terrific. you. Wow. Man, so many thoughts came through. That was a real song. I mean, because I know people to whom that's happened. I didn't have kids of my own. I have surrogate, you know, two surrogate daughters and like a surrogate son. And... Um, I just can't imagine that, you know. I just, I know how I love them, and I didn't raise them, you know. And I know how I love them. Um, wow. But then he's singing, in front, then the entertainment part of it, you know, he's singing that song in front of these power hitters in music that all know, the, know, probably know the song, know when you're supposed to hit the notes. They know how good the band is behind them. Like all the nuances that as performers you know, and you're getting up in front of your colleagues. And some folks draw inspiration from that kind of thing. Like I do. Like if I'm in the presence of excellence, like people who are way better or smarter or whatever the environment is than me, I just draw energy from that and I can shine. And um, so maybe that's what happened, you know, for him. But also I'm looking, some of the faces suggested, like some of the women in the audience, I'm like, the gun had faces like, oh gosh, I did that to my husband and I, I took the baby away when we got divorced. I don't know. That's just what popped into my head. That may never have happened. I don't know. But man, talk about a country song hitting you in the feels, just hitting you in just that sliver of life I talk about. And like the, and the narrative development, the patience in country music, true country music lets you feel things, wonder things, the human experience before it's even revealed, in this case, what that mountain was. And it's like, oh no, no, don't say it. Don't, oh, she left you. All right, she's gonna, oh no, it's getting worse. This is like the next part of the mountain. She's taking your kid and, ah, man, um, life is hard. Life is hard. Beautiful. What do you rate a song like that? That, that hit on you know, that hit on all cylinders. Um, and that it's a man singing it too, you know. There's just something. We don't always let our feelings show. But, you know, when it comes to being broken and broken down, and I've been there at times in my life, and you're like, you don't even know what a man is. Or what It doesn't even matter. You're just trying to sort through life. And he brought it. This I don't know if he wrote this too, you know. But um, I, I'm going with a 9.5. That's probably in the top seven or eight. I, would, I don't know what to say other than that, you know. Are there any questions? No, <laughs> like the guy said. So Linda McDaniel, thank you. Um, I, I hope I did it justice on your behalf because you requested a really powerful song there. Um, but Gene Watson's You Gave Me a Mountain, 9.5. What else do I say? So there it is, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, I'll, I'll see you on another video. That's how it works. <laughs> Have a great day and keep rocking the country.